The excitement around Taylor Swift's Eras Tour in Toronto has been building for months, and with her upcoming shows at Rogers Centre, fans are eagerly preparing for this iconic concert experience. If you're among those lucky enough to snag a ticket, there are several essential details you'll want to know to ensure a smooth, enjoyable experience at the venue. Swift will perform on six dates November 14, 15, 16, 21, 22, and 23 with Rogers Center gates opening at 4.30 p.m. For safety and comfort, fans aren't allowed to queue before 3.30 p.m., and overnight camping is strictly prohibited. So it's best to plan accordingly and arrive right within the set entry window. One of the most important things to note is Rogers Center's strict bag policy. Only small, clear bags or very compact, non-clear bags are allowed inside, and there is no storage for oversized bags on site. Bringing a bag that doesn't comply with these guidelines could mean you'll be turned away at the gate, so double check before leaving home. The Rogers Center will allow medical devices and necessary infant care items, but beyond that, the policy is pretty stringent. This is designed to ensure a faster, smoother entry for all guests and reduce any logistical challenges. Additionally, Toronto traffic on concert days will be impacted. With citywide traffic management measures around Rogers Center, Fans are encouraged to use public transit. Those who drive must be aware that no public parking is available on site, and nearby lots will likely fill up quickly. For fans who need accessible pickup and drop-off options, Rogers Center has designated areas for this purpose. Another important entry tip is that ticket holders will be required to enter through designated zones and gates, which will be specified on their tickets. This system is in place to manage crowd flow, and additional security and ticket checks are in effect around the stadium perimeter. Once inside, fans can enjoy Taylor Swift's exclusive merchandise at various spots within Rogers Center on show days. For those who prefer to shop early, there will be a pre-sale on non-show days with limited hours and specific entrance locations. To streamline the process, shopping bags are not provided, so plan to carry your items or bring your own bag that complies with the concert's strict policy. Food and beverage policies are also in place, with fans permitted only one small, factory-sealed plastic water bottle. Concessions inside the stadium will serve various refreshments, but outside food and drinks are strictly prohibited. It's important to note that those with floor tickets must pour their drink into a plastic cup provided on-site before entering the floor area. For fans sensitive to noise and lighting, it's recommended to bring ear protection due to high volume and possible strobe effects. Rogers Center is sensory inclusive certified, offering a quiet room and sensory bags for fans who may need them. Accessibility accommodations are also available, including wheelchair escorts, an infant feeding room, and American Sign Language interpreters upon request. This is truly a once-in-a-lifetime event for Taylor Swift fans in Toronto, and by understanding these venue guidelines, concertgoers can ensure they're fully prepared. Whether it's a first concert or another chapter in following Taylor's tour, Rogers Center is set to deliver an unforgettable experience as long as fans follow the laid-out protocols. Get ready, Toronto Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is about to light up the city. Stay subscribed for more videos.